Hi, I'm Lance King. Now, once you have formulated a good research question, the next step will be to create a good keyword search strategy. Now, this particular skill exercise is found in the DP portal. So you go to the DP portal. It's only found in the DP portal. But remember, you, if you're an MYP student, you're certainly able to use this. It's a very good exercise. And here it is here, 5B, build a keyword search strategy. So let's go to that. And there's a lot of information at the beginning which will help you understand how to build a keyword search strategy and related back to your research question. But I'm assuming you've written a good research question. Um, and here's an example of a good research question. To what extent is the ban on advertising cigarette brands at professional sports events effective in preventing young people from smoking? So it has a topical issue, it has a question, and it leads to a good analysis of the data available. So if you deconstructed that question, you'd come up with these key words, ban, advertising, cigarette, professional sports, preventing and smoking, and lots of related words. So that gives you lots of ways into this topic, lots of directions you can attack it from. So this is what you need to do for your question. But we start by giving you some questions to think about before you analyze your question. So take this research question. How has Uber disrupted the traditional black cab taxi market in London since it arrived? So I want you to identify the keywords in this question and write them in below. Then look those questions up on Wikipedia. As I said, Wikipedia is a great source of more keywords and ideas. It's not necessarily a good source of research, but it does help you to generate ideas around your core question. So identify 10 related keywords and write them in here. So you get the idea of how to do this. So now what I want you to do is part C for your own research project. You've got to list the concepts, ideas and keywords that are part of your topic or, or research question in this table. And then do a wiki search and try and find synonyms and related keywords to write in the second column. So you put your keywords from your research question in the first column and related words and symptoms in the second column. Then do a brief online searches for all the related words and look at the number of responses and the accuracy to with which they address the topic. And you're looking for both. You're looking for a good volume of information, but also accuracy. Is, it, is the information available addressing the research question that you've created? And then if you've got a good angle or perspective that you want to pursue, you can modify your question to suit. Then there's a whole um, ex, a whole strand on effective searching, which in the DP portal is 5C, which shows you how to use things like Boolean operators and search limiters to refine your search. And then it's suggesting that if you're still stuck at this stage, then with you could use a partner and give your partner um, the, all the information you've found so far on the topics, the ideas, the suggestions, and see if the, you can produce 10 potential keywords on your partner's topic and write them down in this list off the top of your head. So just use your creativity to create keywords. So having completed those three exercises, you should have narrowed down a good list of keywords that you want to explore to help you flesh out your research study. So I hope that was useful. Thank you. Goodbye.